going on guys welcome to the video welcome back to another video so i hope you guys are having a good day so for today's video i tweeted out who makes <laughs> I wrote, who makes shitty beats? Who is not good at making beats? Someone send me them. Someone send me your beats that are not good yet and you know they're not good. Um, so I got, a I got a bunch of replies. Basically, I wanted to fix somebody's beat. I wanted to take their FLP and fix the beat. I have one ready that I'm gonna get to in a second. But before this video starts, I just posted recently, I don't think I have announced it yet on YouTube. So I just posted the new, a new podcast like the other day, like a few days ago. I haven't announced it yet on the channel with Nick Mira. It's already at like 1300 plays on SoundCloud. Go to your phone right here it looks like that the podcast app right click on it just go to search at the bottom search kyle beats podcast um it's on itunes is what it's on or you can go to my website there's a little tab there's a link below anything soundcloud if you have an android soundcloud.com slash kyle beats podcast uh go listen to it it's sick i've i've literally gotten the greatest response from this podcast of all time so if you if you're not listening go listen because it's super lit but yeah without further ado let's get into the video so yeah then i learned about like the type b game the top producers in that and when i met taz he had like i don't know like 3k subscribers on youtube 4k but he was friends with mj so here's the file right here as you can see he's very ocd and i <laughs> color organized everything all right so here's the beat the beat is called addict right here let's just listen to it So that, that kind of repeats for a second and then it goes to here. All kinds of stuff going on here. All right, so there's a lot of stuff going on here. This is gonna be fun. So I'm just gonna do my thing and talk my way through it. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do, I could hear this when I was listening to it when I first came in here and was like loading up all the sounds. Uh, Fruity Limiter is like, let's get that off. There's a Fruity Compressor on here too and Maximus. Let's get rid of everything. Patcher, he's got buses going all sorts of <laughs> too much going on when i was looking through each track like there's like unnecessary he's got a ton of stuff going on like there's too much going on he put like eqs reverb compression limiting more compression limiting bus here bus there like this this is too much there's too much stuff going on like these sounds are fine that you have in here i'm just gonna get rid of the the sounds that are completely unnecessary I'm just gonna add a bunch of my my things in here just, just to start out with because I'm just really familiar with them. Brick, hi-hat. All right, I'm just gonna delete this. I'm just gonna delete this hi-hat just because he has it panning back and forth, left and right. So I'm just gonna completely get rid of it. gonna put an omnisphere base in there he has omnisphere so that's not a problem if i send this back to him he has omnisphere and all that stuff i think the biggest thing i'm seeing right now is just way too much stuff going on don't worry about eqs and organizing all your tracks and there's a lot of like limiting and compression on everything and and like this eq isn't horrible i don't mind it i think it fits this type of beat but there's just like so much going on it's pick a different sound I don't like that I understand what he's trying to do but I just don't like that particular sound I, can, I, I can't even like see right now there's so many colors going I'm not used to this all right so I'm gonna grab some hi-hats I'm gonna grab the brick hi-hat just so I can kind of know what's going on right now I'm just gonna do um, every other step right now better baseline right there all right so we got a couple things going right now um, I'm just gonna add some drums I'm gonna show you guys me adding them. intersection That's good, I like it. <laughs> that, 
The slow BPM throws me off every time. So, screen recording right now, drop down, sip of coffee. All right, so I wanna go through and mix this a little bit better. Trap uh, KB, um, using the Rose kick. It says Rose up here too, because I tried to switch it, but there was a ton of effects and something crazy going on with that channel. Maybe buses to other places. Copy and paste that in there, and then just set everything to, oh, no, copy. And then set everything to C5, which is the bass note for my kicks and for most of my stuff. Ooh, sounds good already. So I just found the perfect counter melody. It sounds like this. I just have this random guitar pick. I'm not sure if that's what I'm gonna use, but I'm just gonna record it so it's down. All right, so sounds pretty good so far. Added a piano in instead of that other guitar sound. About to go through and add some extra hi hat. Put a little sauce on this. Here's the final beat, right? Look at this pattern right here. It's just little tweaks and little things that I did differently. I added a different layer. The I added an 808 that was just that just brought the whole beat together. But yeah, I doubled that original like sound. It was just one layer. It was kind of boring, super compressed, everything. So I'm gonna use a lot of the parts that he actually used uh, to finish this final beat. I think that second melody. basically gonna take all these different parts. This will probably be the intro right here. And then I'll probably bring in his his bass. I'll probably bring in the exact, oh, I th no, I switched it up. I switched it up a little bit. But I'll bring in that and then from there, I'll probably just bring in the drop, get rid of the bass, uh, bring in the drop with the kick and the open hat and just bring it in from there. This will be the drop. All right, so I want to show you guys the before and after. I want to show you what it, what I started with, um, so you guys can really hear it in your headphones. Hear how kind of everything sounded. 
um, I'm just gonna export the original file that he sent me as as it was and let you guys listen to it and then I'm gonna show you the after you guys saw what I did um, it's very simple this it's almost just like you're not doing anything crazy when it comes to making beats you're making a template I've said this before having a bunch of skills just over the years you kind of can figure everything out shout out to <laughs> shout out to Tyler P Tyler uh, is his, his producer name P Tyler um, shout out to you for sending your beats so the original beat he sent me sounds like this All right, so you heard it. So now let's hear the after version. Let's hear the beat that I just made. Here it is, the beat that I fixed in three, two, one. So I was just talking to Tyler on um, on Twitter and he basically was saying to me, he said, sometimes I get aggravated because I watch tutorials of you or other people making melodies that sound so full and unique and my sounds are so flat, if that makes sense. So that's why I try to overcompensate with effects. Uh, Cause what I told him too, I, I just told him, I was like, oh, the beat's crazy. Um, and he said something and I was like, yeah, like you just have, you just had too much stuff going on. So the, what I told him and what I want to say to you guys too, I think I might've said this once before, but it's almost like when it's almost like a professional athlete or a professional anything really. But like I think of a professional athlete, like if you see a professional athlete on the field or whatever they're doing, we'll say soccer player for example, LeBron James playing basketball, Lionel Messi playing soccer. When they're on the field, they're not doing anything crazy. Yeah, they can do they can do the craziest tricks and do all this crazy stuff. But when they're playing on the field, they keep it simple. You know what I mean? LeBron will will fake one way, go up for a shot like keeping it simple, you know what I mean? But the reason why they're so good is because they have all these skills built up. So they know what to do in every little situation. Because what I did there was super simple. I took all the effects off. I took a bunch of stuff off, just leveled it and just did the little thing that made it good. And it's just like building your skills up and just practicing over and over. That part of like making beats is literally a skill and just takes practice. Um, and just takes like experience, I should say, not really practice and experience. All right guys, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, this it's not like a paid collab or anything. I just felt like doing it on Twitter. I thought it'd be a cool idea for a video. Um, I hope you guys could learn something. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. This wasn't really a vlog. It was more of just like making a beat. So um, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell. I'm out here making beats, beat making videos, vlogs, it's lit. Yada, yada, yada. Um, drop a like in this video if you liked it. Let's go for a thousand and, and yeah, it's lit. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Wow, this is crazy.